In this tutorial, we'll be creating a landscape from a height map. To do this, we first want to click on the Create tab and select Plane. We can draw a plane on our screen. And then go to the Modify tab. We want to make this plane 400 by 400. That's in meters. So you might want to zoom out a little bit so you can see your plane. And I'm going to set it to be at the origin. So I'm going to click on the transform tool so that I can change the x value at the bottom to 0, and the y to 0, and the z to 0. And I'm also going to click on the plane again with the select tool selected, and click on the zoom extends all icon so that now we can see our plane in all four of our views. Now we also want to change the length segments and the width segments. I'm going to change these both to 75. And that breaks up our plane into um, 75 by 75 units. And the advantage of that is that when it renders, we'll see more triangles in our landscape. Now with the uh, plane selected, go ahead and click on the Modify tab. And then under the Modifier list, under Object Space Modifier, we want to choose Displace. And under this, you'll see the button under Image Bitmap to select our bitmap. Mine is saved on the desktop under the images here and we saved it as island and I've got island.jpg as my bitmap now if we change the strength of that to say 100 there's our island. The 100 shows how high it's gonna raise so you can see it's 400 by 400 by 100 high if we were to change it to something like 200, you can see it drastically changes. Something like 50 would be less drastic. We're going to stick with 100. Now, if you're going to create an island that's going to be bigger than 400 by 400 meters, um, or 500 by 500 or something around there, then you're going to want to create um, different parts. For instance, if I wanted mine to be 1600 by meters by 1600 meters, then I would probably create one room set or one image for the top part of the island and then another image for the bottom part because it'd be too big to bring into the vicious engine. Um, so then we'd be creating two room sets instead of one. But in this tutorial, we basically learned how to take a height map and create a landscape 